nice. This is sick. What a beautiful, beautiful spot. So this is the entrance of the system. So if we go up over these dunes right here, we should see the ocean. We'll have a look. Wow, there she is. So there's the ocean and it wraps around and there's the mouth of the inlet. So there's actually salt water flowing into this system at the moment. Either way though, we don't have the gear to be fishing over there, so we'll stick to the inlet. Oh, let's go, I'm keen. A little cuttlefish, cuttlefish backbone. Have you ever seen these on the beach? This is actually from cuttlefish, so a relative to the old squid. First cast, let's get it out there. I really badly need to catch a fish, otherwise we're eating bread and spinach because I haven't actually eaten since yesterday afternoon when I left, so I'm very, very hungry at the moment. So hopefully we can just get a quick flathead, hopefully in that 35 to 40 centimeter range, and that'll be more than enough. So please flathead. Well, that didn't go to plan. We just covered this whole bank, fish from up there all the way down along here. We didn't get a single touch. So obviously the flathead aren't on the sandbanks this morning. So we're gonna have to get on the kayak and we might have to try to catch a fish off the yak. <sighs> Smooth as can be. All right, we'll switch up the plastic. So we'll switch over to a perfect little bait fish imitation, the 2.75 inch paddle tail. As you can see, that thing looks exactly like a little minnow or little bait fish. So give that a go. Everything should eat that. There we go. We got one. Oh, there we go. We got a fish. Is it a flathead or is it a brim? I'm not too sure. Feels like a flathead maybe. There we go. First fish. Come on, be a flatty. We need some food. Oh, it's, it's got those brim head shakes, I think. Feels decent though. Big trevally. Yes, that is gonna be food for sure. <laughs> I don't think I've ever caught and uh, cooked a trevally before. That's awesome. Nice. Let's see if we can get him in the net. Geez, these things fight hard. There we go, we got him. Wow, that is an absolutely beautiful fish. We tried along all along that bank over there for flathead, didn't get anything and came out here. Got this beautiful sized trevally. If you're ever gonna keep a fish, make sure you do the humane thing, bleed it straight away, brain it so it's out of its misery, and that will also keep the flesh as good as it can be. So do the right thing if you're gonna keep a fish. And that right there is gonna be a beautiful lunch. All right, I reckon we're gonna set up around here. Take a look at this beautiful little spot. It's called Reg's Rest, and it's actually got a few little benches. It's already got a campfire set up here. We'll be using the gas cooker, but it's got a little campfire set up. And as you can see, a few benches as well. So we'll go fill up that trevally up, and then we'll get it going, because I am absolutely starving. Well, have a look at this awesome little setup we got going on. It has literally been 24 hours now since I've had my last real meal. I think I've had one banana and one uh, muesli bar in the past 24 hours, so I'm absolutely starving. There's just one more thing to do now. It is to fill it up this trevally and then we'll get cooking. We have very limited ingredients today. We do have a little bit of seasoning. We have some salt, we have some pepper, and we have some oil, and then we have some bread and spinach. So it's gonna be a very basic sandwich but either way, I'm absolutely starving, so I'm gonna devour it. No matter how it tastes, no matter how it turns out, I'm still gonna eat it. So let's fill it up this trevally, get this oil warming up, and then we'll start cooking. I may be decent at catching these fish, but I'm definitely not the best at filleting. You can critique me all you want, but I don't really keep any fish, so I'm not the best. There you go, there's a look at the filleting job. I don't do it very often, so obviously it's not the cleanest, but it'll work. Chuck the head and the carcass back in for to continue the cycle. Ooh, hello, look at that. 
I didn't think I was going to do that good, so we just, <laughs> just took the skin off that, and I actually did that perfectly to my surprise, but we've still got one more to go. So we've given these their final rinse off and they look absolutely beautiful. It's been a long time since I've had fresh trevally, so I'm keen to see how it cooks up. Get that going. Bit of oil in the pan, that's heating up nicely. So bread, spinach, and our seasonings, our pepper and our salt. That oil is heating up nicely, so there's this one more thing I want to do, and that's put a little bit of seasoning on them. So we're going to put a bit of flour on the trevally to start off with, and then we'll put some salt and pepper on top of that. Let's give them a nice coat. Put a bit of salt. Oh, geez, that's a lot of salt. <laughs> oh, boy. And pepper. So salt and pepper. So I'm not the best filleter and I'm also not the best chef, but we'll see what we can do. We've got the trevally covered in flour, salt and pepper. So we'll just put it on there. This oil is very hot, so it should be fine. Uh, we'll just get that oil swishing around a bit. Chuck that on there. That's perfect. Got that second bit on there. There we go. I'll tell you what, the smell of that is just so good. So what we'll do now is just get our bread ready and also our spinach. So we're going to have two sandwiches. So we'll have four bits of bread. All right, we'll flip that over. Woo -hoo -hoo. That looks so good. Oh, this is going to turn out amazing. Whew. I'll tell you what, I'm so happy with how this is turning out. It looks so good. Could almost be done. Could be done. Yeah, we're done. That one's done. So we'll put a bit of spinach on the bottom. That is beautiful. Wow. That looks absolutely amazing. Put a little bit more spinach just to finish it off. I'll tell you what, that looks absolutely incredible. Sandwiches are complete. So it's very, very basic and simple, but we've got that trevally in there with spinach and bread, and obviously the fish is seasoned as well, but that looks absolutely delicious. The fish turned out really well, I'm pretty sure, so whew, I'm keen to have a bite. Well, it looks and smells absolutely delicious, but how does it taste? Mm-hmm. Very, very good. The fish is cooked absolutely perfectly. See that? Nice and white flesh in there. Tastes very, very good. <laughs> oh, wow. Gordon Ramsay, watch out. That's good. <clears throat> wow, that was good. That was very, very good. Oh boy. Well, I just absolutely smashed those two Trevally sandwiches. They were absolutely delicious. But either way, that's gonna be the end of this video, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you wanna see more catching cooks in the future, let me know in the comments below. Hopefully you enjoyed, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.